About a month ago, Logitech reached out. They said they wanted to sponsor a video where I overview their new input device. I didn't know what it was going to be, but I said, sure, send it over. And just a couple of days ago, the MX Creative console arrived at my door. Let's go ahead and check this product out. So the MX Creative console comes with two different input devices. This one here connects wirelessly to the computer with Bluetooth, and this one with the color screen, that connects with a USB-C cable. Now, this panel here comes with an optional stand, so you can use it standing up if you want to, or you could use it flat. I have it standing up here. I feel like I can see it a little bit better. Now, the benefit of a product like this is that you want it to be customizable. You want each one of these buttons and knobs to do something different depending on what application you're currently using. But you can imagine, if you had to go in and program every single button for every single application that you might use, that would take forever, and the average person would never spend that kind of time. Luckily, Logitech has done a great job here, just like loop decks have in the past, making this completely automated. When you first plug this thing in and you install the software, it just works right out of the box. Right now I'm in Google Chrome and you can see that this is what our button layout looks like. If I move over to Photoshop, it's going to instantly change over. If I move over to Premiere, it's going to instantly change. And then we also have these two buttons down here and we can slide between additional options. All of this was completely automatic. I didn't have to do any programming myself at all. Back to Chrome here, you can see I have a play button here. I can start playing this video. I can hit the mute button here. If I click this button, it's going to allow me to change the brightness of my screen using this knob here. This button up here scrolls up and down. If I want to take a screenshot, I can hit the screenshot button here. It's going to pop right up. I can hit the finder button. It's going to open up the finder window on my Mac here. If I move back over to Photoshop here, you can see everything changes and it moves to all of my different tools. If I wanna be able to zoom in and fit this to the screen, I can click fit to screen right there. I can click the save button to automatically bring up that dialog box. I could use the brush tool here or I could use the lasso and select something. Now Photoshop power users are gonna love this device because they can customize every single option on this unit and they can set it up for their personal workflow. But the average person who may not be as comfortable with Photoshop, they're gonna love something like this because it just gives you more information. Learning Photoshop can be extremely overwhelming and just having to mouse over each one of these tools and figure out what they do can be so time consuming. This device tells you under every single icon what each one of these buttons is actually going to do. If I jump over to Lightroom, everything changes again. Natively, everything is set up to help me cull through images. I can rate them here, I could select them or deselect them. If I click on the develop button, we're gonna jump into the develop module. And here I have even more options. I can click the auto white balance button. I can select different images by turning this knob here. I can zoom in and out with this one. And if I feel like I've made some crazy mistake on the image, I can reset all of the settings right there. So if you wanna just plug it in and use it, you can, but I think the average person who buys something like this is buying it because they're a power user. They want to be able to customize everything to work as quickly and proficiently as possible. Let me show you how easily you can customize this device if you want to. So you just open up the Logi Options Plus app. This is the application that you need to set everything up. Now, ironically, my favorite mouse and keyboard of all time are in the Logitech MX ecosystem. I already own this mouse and keyboard. And if you do as well, it's super convenient that just one program can control all of your input devices. And we'll start with the creative keypad here and we just click on customize keys. Along the top here, you'll see all the different applications that you can use this with. This first icon is for the default settings here and that's what you can see right here. Let's go ahead and make some changes to this. So as you can see right here, one of the native options is this emoji button. And if you press it, it brings up the emoji menu. I didn't even know that existed. And I promise you that is something I will never use. So let's change it. You just click on that here. And then I'm gonna click on open, open application. And let's choose an application. Something that I'm always opening is Photoshop. And we'll click on Photoshop 2024, save. And you can see it automatically chooses the icon for you. So you can see it automatically shows up right here. We touch it and Photoshop, boom, pops right up. I always find myself going into settings all the time on my Mac. So let's switch this over and we'll go to open application and we'll slide down to system preferences here. And you can see that pops up right there and I click it and boom, preferences pops right up. Now, if you want to, you can also grab stuff on the right and drag it onto the device on the left. So if you wanna start getting really crazy, you could come down here 
here to advanced and multi-action macros. This is going to allow you to create a multi-step process that you can execute by just pressing a single button. And I can drag this onto any of these slots here. It's gonna pop right up. And then we add actions one at a time. And you can see we can add millisecond delays in between them. So if you wanna say, open this application, go over to file, click on this option, wait five tenths of a second, then click these buttons. You can do that one by one here and it's going to do this with just one click. Let's go back and check out the other device, the Creative Dial Pad. Here, once again, we can click Customize Buttons and we'll see the exact same layout. This is the native options here. Undo and redo are the upper left. The vertical scroll wheel is going to scroll up and down. This center scroll wheel is going to be set to volume. You can see that moving right here, unless we click on something else. For example, we have this option to change brightness, so we can do that here. The bottom left button is set to escape and the bottom right is set to show the action ring. So you can see when this pops up, it gives us even more options. Now, if you want to customize the buttons that pop up for that action ring, you'll see that down here along the bottom. We can click here and then we can change each one of these options as well. Now, when it comes to recommending this product and who this product is actually for, I think my opinion is kind of similar to other Loop Deck products. If you're the type of person that loves speeding up your workflow and you love tinkering and you like shortcuts, you're gonna love this product. If you're the type of person that's learning new software and you're always struggling to remember what tools do what and where they are, and you want a product like this to put those tools right in front of you all the time and right below the tool exactly what they do, I think you're gonna love this product as well. But if you're just the average computer user and you use your laptop to watch YouTube videos and check email, this is probably overkill. Now, when it comes to the value of this product, I honestly don't even know what the price is. They sent me this before it's come out. As you're watching this right now, this product is available. So if you click on the link below, you can check it out. But what they did tell me was that anyone who buys this gets three months of Adobe Creative Cloud for free. Even if you already have an Adobe Creative Cloud account, and as you know, that's 60 bucks a month. So that's $180 in value right there. So if you're in the market for something like this, I think you're really going to like it. Logitech's done a great job here. Once again, check it out in the link below.